everybody. What's going on? Welcome back to the 25 Days of Linux ASMR edition. I'm just kidding. I'm not fucking doing that shit. So, uh, today, back with another window manager. If you haven't figured it out already, basically what I've been doing with this whole series of uh, videos is I have a list of every video idea that someone has ever sent me and I'm basically working my way through them. So some of these videos are duds, uh, I'll be the first to admit that, but it's mostly because you guys asked me to make them. And in that category of things that I'm not 100% sure why people really wanted me to make a video about, but was on the list and I got no problem checking out, is uh, Sway. This is uh, another window manager, which I'm actually pretty excited about because I've been kind of enjoying flipping through more window managers here. I've been uh, looking through a few on the channel, but also just in my office time messing around with a few different window managers but this one is um different mainly because all the window managers i've talked about are built to run on x x servers x11 this one does not use x11 it uses wayland which uh you know is obviously a bit controversial in the linux community some people are super into it some people don't uh but what sway aims to do is actually really really straightforward it's basically just an i3 fork that uses Wayland to run instead of Xorg. So we'll just go ahead and do sudo pacman dash s and install Sway. And also the default terminal that Sway wants to use is Alacrity, which in my case is great. That's one of my favorites I already have it installed. But if you don't, uh, you'll need to either go ahead and create and edit the config or go ahead and install Alacrity. Go ahead and just hit enter here. Like I said, uh, we don't actually use X11 to launch Wayland. So if you're on Arch and you're just in the TTY, you can literally just run Sway to launch Sway. If you're using a login server, I assume it'll automatically be put there. But what you don't have to do is create an X in it RC and run Ezek Sway or anything like that. So let's go ahead and see, I don't know, maybe I'll be able to launch it straight from BSBWM and have a window managerception going on here. Let's give it a shot. So things are a bit different now. New webcam setup. Everybody's favorite character, the noisy neighbors have returned and we are on Ubuntu now. Uh, turns out Sway does not play nicely with the default NVIDIA drivers, at least on Arch, well, I assume everywhere on Linux. So that's a problem. If you do have an NVIDIA driver, and if you do have an NVIDIA GPU, I mean, and you're looking to run Sway, uh, obviously you cannot use the proprietary NVIDIA drivers. But I did remember I did have this uh, soulless uh, VM, so that's an easier workaround than switching drivers on my main machine or reinstalling something else. So uh, same process as before, sudo apt install Sway, and then we just need to install Alacrity, which is actually as easy as this command right here here, sudo add app repository. Uh, I'll link it in the description if I remember to do it. And then we can just do sudo apt install alacrity. It's slightly more difficult to do on Ubuntu just because you have to add the repository, but it's still not a very hard terminal terminal emulator to install. And uh, because it's a Wayland app, uh, you can just run it from the command line. That's all I was going to do is jump into the TTY and boot that way. But uh, hey, what the heck? Let's try it here. See if it works. Hey, look at that. We got sway. Um, so it is a super tiny resolution, but it actually is sort of dynamically changing as we scale up here. So that's cool. Um, because it does not use X11, you don't use XR and R to change the resolution or anything. You actually have to do that from the config, but we are in sway. And uh, the command to launch a terminal is uh, command enter, super enter. And this is Alacrity here. Uh, the performance here is gonna be pretty bad, but if you've ever used i3, you'll recognize this. This is literally just i3, but built to run with Wayland instead. Uh, and the performance here is actually really, really bad. <laughs> oh, that's rough. Maybe I should log out and try to boot into Sway. Let me do that, because this is just gonna annoy anyone watching. Actually, hold up. Before we do anything, let's just go ahead and set the screen resolution, because the guide I was looking at earlier was a bit old, and you know how that goes on Linux sometimes. Oh, hey, check it out. My webcam is like way out of sync now. Uh, screw it. We'll just roll with it. Or, I don't know, maybe I could fix it on the fly. Let's try. Why not? Add a new video capture device. Yeah, there it is. Look at that. It's iRune webcam. Okay. Position it differently. Is it back up to speed now? I don't know. Yeah, it kind of looks like it is. Why not? Maybe the issue was that I had like too many filters on it. So maybe I'll just do the like uh, image mask blend thing. And I want to make it an alpha channel and stretch image. 
That's not it. You know what? That was almost definitely the issue. So whatever. Screw it. Chop off the bottom 100. Screw that circle shit. Okay. So to make the config for Sway, all we should need to do is make or uh, CD into the config folder, uh, make a directory called Sway, CD into Sway. And then once you're in here, what we can do is copy from Etsy Way config, and we're just gonna drop it right here. Okay, so then if we go into the config file, what we want to do is we wanna look for, let's see, resolution. Uh, I think this is the line that we want. And uh, we just need to change the name of our monitor here. We'll try, um, I know what it's called if I pull it up through XR and R. It's virtual one. So I don't know why that wouldn't be the case here as well. Uh, the position should be zero, zero. And then I'll just set it to 4096 by 2048. Uh, instead of putting the name of the resolution, what we want to do is do star here. And then what that should do is just select whatever monitor we're currently on. And then I want to do dash dash custom. And I don't actually need to do the position, it seems to think. So exit our terminal and we'll go ahead and just straight up log out of Budgie here. It's going to throw us to light DM. And now we can launch Sway, hopefully. Look at that, we've got Sway here. Beautiful background, probably looks a little bit pixelated because it's at 1080 for whatever reason, but we can cover it up with uh, Super Enter, which will launch a terminal. And uh, hey, look at that, it's just like i3 now. If we launch more, it's not that hard. This is Sway, it is a manual tiler, just like BSBWM, just like i3. So I have a bit more control over how the actual windows are positioned. It's just a matter of getting the key bindings down. So we could go back into the Sway config as long as we're actually spelling out Vim correctly. We can sort of look through it now and see what we're doing here. So uh, I really just want to find the key bindings here and see what we're doing here. So start your launcher. Uh, it looks like they have mod D to launch D menu. Uh, so I could do sudo apt install D menu. Okay, so let's go back into the Sway config. Let's see here. So move around or use mod up and down. Move the focused window, but the same mod shift, mod shift with arrow keys. Do you really have to use mod and shift with arrow keys to move it around? Holy crap, you might. You can't use Vim keys. Oh no, okay, cool. You can use Vim keys too. So that, that would have annoyed the hell out of me if I couldn't, but we're good. Uh, right, so like any other manual tiler, you can sort of open up a window. And uh, then what I want to do is, let's say, throw it to the side. So yeah, I'll open up another terminal, and I'll throw that one up top, maybe, or something. I don't know. Mod and Vim keys or arrow keys to move around. Mod shift and arrow keys to actually control the positioning. And uh, this is the appeal of these things. You know, you can just sort of build your own setup. I think maybe it's mod and control to resize, or maybe it's mod and alt to resize. Depends. You'd have to look around a bit more. Uh, but... This has its own bar in here, so if I search for the bar, I might be able to maybe change the font on it or something. Status line, FFF, background, color there. If I wanted to, I could change the background color and make it FF0000 or something. And then it would be like mod shift R maybe to, I don't actually know how to reload. So we'd have to go back into Sway, look at the config, and let's say reload. Reload the config file is mod shift C. So you see now our bar up top is red. Um, it does use Waylon, so sometimes launching apps is sort of weird. I think like if you type in Firefox, it gives you, oh, no, actually Firefox launches. I remember using Waylon stuff back in the day and you had to like pass Firefox an environment variable just to get it to launch. But actually, no, this is cool. That worked perfectly fine. Uh, maybe we'll go back into the Sway config. Uh, it looks like you can change the way that the date's formatted. Let's say I want to put it on the bottom. Man sway bar. Hey, look at that. We got a man page for the bar. It looks like we could go into the config for sway. So I'll just come up to the top and try to do it there. Gaps, inner, we'll do 50. And then gaps, let's see, smart gaps off. And then we could do like gaps outer. 50 as well maybe and then reload super shift c that did not affect apps but it also does maybe seem like the kind of thing that you would have to like quit and go back into for it to work so maybe so maybe super shift e and uh go ahead and like exit sway log back in here real quick and 
Oh, look at that. Look at those gaps now. Okay, cool. So you just had to exit in order for that to work. I mean, honestly, sort of the coolest thing that I've noticed about this so far is that most of the configuration is super easy. If we open up the sway bar config, especially, it literally just shows you all the options you need. Right here is where I figured out how to change the gaps. I just had this open on a different monitor and uh, it seems like it just sort of takes input. So like if I wanted to change the font size, what I could do is open up the sway config, right? And then right here where I have the gaps, I could say like font mono space 30 maybe or maybe even 40, 50, whatever. And then apparently reloading it doesn't always work, but in this case it did, right? So, and oh, hey, I just figured out now that the font's bigger and I can actually see it. This is not Alacrity we're using, this is foot. I don't know why I thought it used Alacrity. I thought I read that it used Alacrity as a default. So I don't know, uh, here it is. This is a Sway video. I like this. It's a little uh, simpler than what I would normally use, but I mean, you get rid of this bar, put in poly bar, and you know, I'll be happy. Uh, so I guess if you're the type of person who really likes i3, but really doesn't like x11, uh, you got an answer. Not really for me, but I'm happy to make a video about it because uh, I've got a video to make every day this month. So that is going to be it for this video. Thank you everybody for watching and I'll see you in the next one.